Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new video and it's going to be a new Christmas with Melly video. Today I'm actually going to present a perfume. If you're new on my channel, you might not know that I actually started a new series on my channel called Perfume of the Month, where basically every month I talk about one perfume I've been loving and that I highly recommend to you guys. I already actually posted three videos on my channel about that. I posted about the Cloud Perfume by Ariana Grande, the Live Perfume by Hugo Boss, and also R.E.M. by Ariana Grande again. But today we are going to talk together about Tuberos Mystique by Bulgari. So today I feel like I'm really golden. I was inspired by Bulgari itself, which is a very famous jewelry and watch brand. Anyways, I was very inspired. That's why I'm wearing a lot of gold today. Tuberos Mystique is actually a very new perfume. It's only a year old. So I figured it could be interesting for you guys to just see how it smells, if I like it, discover the notes and all that good stuff. As I always do in my perfume of the month video, I basically start by explaining why I got the perfume. We look at the bottle together, I talk about the notes, the prices, and at the end I also tell you overall if I recommend it or not or for who especially I recommend the perfume. So if you're not subscribed yet, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel to not miss any other perfume of the month video. So subscribe if you're not yet and it means obviously a lot to me. It's the red button below and it's 100% free. So basically let's get going with the story behind the perfume, why I got it and all that good stuff. So this perfume was actually a gift. It was gifted to me during my fragrance promoter training last year in 2019. Um, if you're new here on my channel, you might not know, but I actually worked as a fragrance promoter during the holidays twice now. I did it in 2018 and 2019. Now that I have a full-time job, I don't do it anymore because it was really just to learn about the job, but also definitely make a bit of money during the holidays. So I don't do it anymore, but it was a great experience. And my second time last year, I was actually, funnily enough, a promoter for the brand Bulgari, so for the perfumes. So I basically had to sell them in stores to people around the holiday and Black Friday. So I definitely had to sell this perfume as well. This is why I think it's gonna be interesting for you guys. So basically whenever you end a training, at least here in the agencies in Switzerland or where I live, you always get a little present at the end of it. And obviously you get something from the brand that trained you, or you know, if you're a promoter for Bulgari, you will receive something from Bulgari. If you're a promoter for Givenchy, it will be Givenchy. It really depends. Obviously, I was a perfume promoter because I'm not a makeup artist. I don't have any kind of studies behind me related to this. But usually you can learn everything about the brand and the perfume in a few training sessions. And this is what I usually do. And they gifted us the Tuberose Mystique, which is the last um, Splendida perfume that actually launched. If you don't know, Bulgari has a bunch of perfumes. They all look absolutely beautiful. We'll go in more detail on the bottles afterwards. But they have one very interesting collection called Splendida or Splendida and there's five perfumes if I'm not mistaken and as I mentioned this is really the latest perfume that actually launched so it's really really exciting uh, because I think it's great to know more about a new perfume so this perfume I received it and I right away loved it that's for sure a hundred percent so we're gonna get going into the bottle and the notes so the bottle as you can see I will put better clips afterwards obviously um, it's absolutely stunning. The idea of Bulgari, since it is a jewelry brand and started with jewelry, the idea is to create bottles that remind you of jewels or jewelry. So as you can see, you have a beautiful bottle. This reminds me so much the cap of their famous rings. So that's an example. They have all the bottles that look stunning and all remind you of jewelry, especially Bulgari jewelry. So this is the overall idea. It's obviously dark blue and you have the name of the perfume on it as well as a brand behind it. So this perfume is an oriental floral fragrance which is very interesting I actually did a video last year on different fragrance families so go check it out if you want to discover which fragrance family is for you or just learn more about the whole universe of perfumes and fragrances the oriental fragrances are usually very rich very sweet um, most of the time you find if not always vanilla in these perfumes and obviously floral perfumes means that you have some type of flower in the perfume so this is basically what the perfume is oriental and floral so the top notes are very interesting because you will find black currant and 
Devana or Devena. I have no idea how you say it, unfortunately, in English, but it's basically a herb. Um, I will put pictures, but it's just a herb I've never heard about actually before. So I don't know if I say it the right way, but uh, it's Davana or Devena. And obviously, a black currant is a fruit. This is very interesting because the top notes, I've already mentioned it many times on my channel in my perfume of the month videos, but top notes are the notes you smell right away when you spritz the perfume on yourself or just in the air. It's really the little notes that you smell right away and that disappear very fast. I personally don't really smell black currant. Uh, the herb, definitely not. This is usually more to create a balance in a perfume and to create a bit of a specific scent. So I don't really smell that. But um, black currant either, which is interesting. I don't feel like it's very fruity and I don't feel like it smells anything like it. So the top notes are definitely very light. What is going to be interesting are the middle notes and the base notes. Middle note, there's only one. This is why I think it's very interesting. And it's the famous tubereuse or tuberose in English uh, flower. So the flower is just just a white flower, quite simple. I had never heard of it before, but I realized that it's actually used in quite a few perfumes, especially perfumes that are a bit more expensive or more prestigious, more luxurious. It's a note that is definitely very rare to find, which is why it creates a beautiful and expensive perfume. And it's also very complex. Um, we're gonna go in detail about that too, but this is the middle note. So it's the note that's gonna linger a bit longer than the top notes. And the base notes are as simple as that. It's the base notes of the perfume, the bases of it, uh, they're usually the heavier ones and they're definitely the ones you're going to smell throughout the whole day. Um, this perfume has two base notes. It has vanilla absolute and it also has mir. I hope I say it right or mire. I'm not sure how you say it. Again, I'll write it somewhere on the screen. So basically mire or mir, no idea how you say it, is a natural gum that you extract from a particular plant uh, or tree that is called comifora. I hope I'm not mistaken about that. I did a bit of my research, but I don't know more detail, but it's definitely something that is used in perfumes usually. It's just rare that I actually see that in ingredients or notes of perfumes. So this is a definitely another ingredient or note that is interesting in the perfume. I personally smell vanilla a lot in the perfume. This is probably why I like it that much. So yeah, these are the notes that are really going to make the base of the perfume and linger the longest during the day. So now we're going to get going first of all in the prices before I tell you a bit my recommendation and what I think overall of the perfume and the scent. So you have this bottle in three different sizes. This one is the biggest size that I received. You have it in 30 milliliter, 50 milliliter and 100 milliliter, which is this one. 30 milliliter cost 83.90. 50 milliliter cost 115 and finally 100 milliliter cost 173 francs. So I talk about Swiss francs, it's similar to uh, United States um, currency dollars, but you can kind of see like on internet just do the conversion. Um, Euros are just a little bit less than Swiss francs just to give you an idea, but hopefully it just gives you an overall idea of the price. So as you can see, this is definitely a more expensive perfume. It's definitely not like the other perfumes I've mentioned in my perfume of the month videos. It's not as cheap as Ariana Grande's perfume. And it's definitely not like Hugo Boss, which is funny because Hugo Boss was kind of more expensive-ish, but it's definitely not on the same level. Of course, I can't compare it to Chanel or Dior. They're pricier than Bulgari, but Bulgari is definitely on the top brands that are more expensive. So this one, I wanted to give you a little bit of my review and my own opinion, recommendation on it. Would I recommend it or not? I recommend it because I love it. So I can tell you that I absolutely love it. Like if I had to make someone smell it, I would be like super proud of it because I really like it. I'm actually gonna spritz some on myself right now because I love it so much. It reminds me of last year because funnily enough, that's something that is important for you to know. This perfume is definitely more of a fall winter perfume perfume or night perfume. It's not a perfume for spring summer um, and it's definitely harder to wear during the day in spring for example. Of course everybody can wear perfume whenever they want. They can choose their perfume. That's absolutely free. Uh, I'm just telling you that based on my research I've actually realized that people really suggest it for fall winter time and night time. I usually wear this during winter. This is why I used it a lot last year also in January, February this year um, but otherwise I didn't use it. Like now I'm using it again slowly. Um, um, I'm probably gonna finish it by the end of the season. So beginning of 2021, I should be done with it. But um, yeah, it's definitely more for that time of the year. 
end of the day if it's nighttime. So as you realize, it's definitely a sweet perfume, a little bit floral. It's quite heavy. Usually we're not really allowed when you do promotion for fragrances to use the word heavy because it's very subjective, but I'm gonna use it between us right now just to kind of make you realize that it's not gonna be a very light fragrance. This is more rich and prestigious and powerful. Um, it lasts on my skin for a long time. Once again, skin types, they change from person to person. Maybe for you, it's not gonna last, but on me at least it lasts quite a bit of time. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, since I had to sell it, it was very interesting because you had people that loved it and people that hated it. And I think that's because of the tuberose, that flower in it. It's very specific and different. So for some people, they absolutely love it and fell in love with it. And others, right away, they told me, nope, this is not for me and I don't want to get it. Now, what is also very interesting is that this perfume is more for mature women. I recommend it to people, uh, this perfume, whenever they wanted to get something for their mom, for example or for their grandmother even uh, because it definitely is a perfume that would suit more someone who is of a more mature age, I would say. Um, I wear it, I'm 25, so you can still wear it if you're young, but uh, I definitely wouldn't get that for someone who's in high school. It's a type of perfume I would personally go in stores to smell it before buying it, but if you can't go, I hope I kind of gave you an idea of the overall perfume. Uh, what you could do eventually is get the tiny version, like the 30 milliliter, to just try it out. But in terms of the price, I think the best one to get would be the 50 milliliter because you have enough to use it a bit every day but you're not breaking the bank, getting it and putting 173 towards a perfume. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it actually about the perfume, the pricing, the notes, what I think about it. Um, let me know what you thought about the perfume. Like, do you know it? Do you like the bottle? Uh, what do you think about Bulgari perfumes? And do you own any perfume from the brand? As always, you can always purchase the perfume in the description box below. I always link it down below. And if I find sales, I also put it down below. And well, as I always say, I will see you next week in my next video for another Christmas with Melly video, which I'm so excited to film. Anyways, I'll see you next week in my next video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.